The advancement of technology nowadays produces more sophisticated and ever safer aviation aircrafts and navigation systems, but unfortunately, still continuously challenged by human factors such as fatigue. Fatigue is a potential aviation safety hazard and, as such, needs to be dealt with in the same flexible manner as other known technical hazards. Pilot fatigue contributes to 15 to 20 percent of fatal aviation accidents caused by human error. Aviation is a day and night working industry. Thus, personnel, especially pilots, are susceptible to fatigue. What is a pilot fatigue? The International Civil Aviation Organization defines crew member fatigue as a physiological state of reduced mental or physical performance capability resulting from sleep loss or extended wakefulness, resurgent and phase, or workload that can impair a crew member's alertness and ability to safely operate an aircraft or perform safety-related duties. How can a pilot get fatigued? Fatigue can be due to personal matter. A pilot who exercises regularly, does not smoke tobacco, eats a healthy diet, drinks alcohol sparingly, and gets adequate sleep will be less susceptible to fatigue than a pilot who does not follow a healthy regimen. Pilots can also induce fatigue during work or flight period. When there are unexpected flight delays due to weather or maintenance disturbances, it develops fatigue to the air crew. These delays cause disruption in timings, thus making schedule improper and out of routine. When pilots cannot follow their normal routine, it will conceivably cause them to sleep less than what is needed and consequently make them awake for a longer period of time prior to flight. Pilots can also accumulate fatigue when their circadian rhythm is disrupted. Circadian rhythm is a cycle in the physiological process of living beings typically lasting approximately 24 hours. These processes are sleep, body temperature, and digestion which links together to the light-dark cycle of the Earth. Flying at night is the most common circadian rhythm disturbance. This disturbance will consequently prevent the pilot from having an adequate and restful sleep, thus developing a fatigue. Pilots also get fatigued when flying across different time zones or commonly called as the jet-like phenomenon. The difference of the wall clock and the biological clock of the pilot may lead to the shortness of needed sleep, hence making him induce a fatigue. Some of the physical and psychological manifestations of fatigue are Lethargy, the lack of energy and enthusiasm Slowed reaction time, basic movements are affected and abating Lack of concentration, inattention to details and forgetting information. Fatigue occupied mind tends not to store information anymore. The accident of Kalita DC-8 at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba in 1993 is an example of how lack of sleep can significantly inflict fatigue in pilots and affect their flying abilities. The National Transportation Safety Board found that in the whole 65-hour period of the trip, the captain of the flight was awake for 50 hours with only 15 hours of sleep. How to overcome and manage fatigue Responsibilities in managing fatigue can be associated on organizational or individual level. On organizational level, aviation operators are encouraged by IKAL to establish a fatigue risk management system or FRMS and conduct crew resource management or CRM training amongst air crews. FRMS ensures that fatigue-related safety risks are continuously monitored and managed by the organization while CRM helps the air crew, especially the pilots, to manage human conditions, specifically fatigue, to affect the operation of the flight. On individual level, pilots, as professionals, must use their given rest periods strategically in order to function well during duty and flight time. They must also be disciplined in their lifestyle to avoid unnecessary fatigue in order to be physiologically prepared for any emergencies on board. And lastly, to aid FRMS, pilots must also be honest and open to their operator in reporting fatigue so that ambiguities in flight scheduling will be fixed and improved to avoid any air crew member from being fatigued.